So I love um, being able to make things ahead of time. Just, you know, kind of get them out of the way. And in the summer, we do a lot of outdoor activities. We're up at our cottage as much as we can get there. And we love to take bike rides and go on picnics and go to the beach. And lunch has to be something kind of special, you know, because you're usually hanging out with your family and friends and maybe you're, you know, um, boating and you get hungry, you know. So it's always got to be about a really great sandwich um, and it's got to hold well. I am not a big fan of a uh, SOG Central sandwich. Is anybody really? I mean, I hate it when sandwiches get soggy. That's no fun. So I've got the answer to it. This is a layered Italian sandwich and it doesn't get soggy. You can make it ahead of time and it's absolutely fantastic and super duper easy to make. So you want to start with a nice crusty loaf of um, sourdough, Italian or French bread. I like to do a round loaf, but if all they have is an oval loaf, that would work too. Uh, but you just want to make sure it's a really crusty good loaf of bread. And you're going to cut off the top, just the top portion of the bread. And then you're going to start pulling out some of the innards of this bread. And that's where we're going to put our great sandwich ingredients. So I usually just kind of take a knife One of my favorite things to do in the summer is get a great book which by the way book club meeting coming up you still have time this is a quick read you can go out and get our book club book start reading right away and join us at the bottle room coming up July 22nd um, we're reading a great book called The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kidd you need to call um, today or as soon as you can to reserve your spot at the bottle room for our book club meeting. It's going to be great fun. Speaking of reserving your spot, big night out coming up in just a couple of days. I understand there's still a little bit of space left on that. So go to our website and uh, get the information. Um, give them a call. Reserve your spot. Five course meal paired with wines at a wonderful new supper club in the Hortonville, downtown Hortonville. The menu will knock your socks off. It's going to be fantastic. Just $50 a person. So who doesn't need a big night out, especially in the summer? So get on that summer dress and some lipstick and come out and join us. And you can, you know, come with your special someone. You can come with a group of coworkers. You can come by yourself. And yes, guys do come. It's not just a, a chick thing. So call today to reserve your spot. Time's running out on that one. Coming up quickly. Okay, so I just took use my hands, my clean hands and just kind of got in there and pulled out some of the inside of that bread. You can save that and use it to make stuffed mushrooms or use it for meatloaf, something down the road. Okay, so we've got this great hollowed out area to put our sandwich. Now I'm gonna make a real quick and easy homemade vinaigrette. No mayonnaise in the sandwich. That's another thing I love about it. If you're taking the sandwich, you know, on a road trip or for a picnic and you're worried about mayo, don't need to worry about it with this recipe. Uh, I love making homemade vinaigrettes for salads, or in this case, this is gonna be the dressing for our sandwich, and it's just so, so easy to do. You could certainly pick up a bottle of your favorite vinaigrette or Italian uh, oil and vinegar dressing at the grocery store if you wanted to take a shortcut, but I mean, anybody can do this. I just collect a whole bunch of different oils and vinegars. Actually, I start with just a few, and then my collection just keeps growing and growing, and now I have in my pantry, um, both at the cottage and at home, just a little certain section with all my vinegars, all my oils. So uh, depending if I'm tossing a salad or making a sandwich, I can pull out the oils and vinegars as I need. I always have on hand olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and then I start collecting different oils um, like the, some of the garlic and herb oil or um, a walnut oil, grapeseed oil, some of those other fun flavored oils that, um, you know, you get at those specialty olive oil shops or a lot of times you can even get them at the grocery store right now. When it comes to vinegars, I always have that big jug of white distilled vinegar. I, I normally don't use that in salads, uh, but it is great for coleslaws, great for, you know, cleaning products around your house. Um, a little milder, more subtle vinegar, uh, white vinegar is a white wine, a champagne vinegar, or a rice wine vinegar. All of those available right at the grocery store. You don't have to go to any of those fancy stores to get them, although you certainly could. Then I always have red wine vinegar. Again, very inexpensive, a couple bucks a bottle or even less, right, right at the grocery store. Uh, apple cider vinegar is a great one in salads and coleslaws and things like that. And then for this recipe, we're using a balsamic vinegar, which is that dark brown vinegar that really became on trend in five, 
10 years ago, um, so you're probably familiar with that. So um, then I start collecting some of the more fun, different vinegars, um, some of the fancier ones, like a pear vinegar or raspberry vinegar. Um, once you have the different oils and vinegars, you're really set in the salad dressing making business. Some herbs, dried herbs, maybe some Dijon mustard, and you're good to go. This vinaigrette, super simple for this, um, for this uh, sandwich we're putting together. And I um, normally just do a little bit of vinegar for the sandwich. We really want to taste all the great flavors in the sandwich. So I'm just going to do a teeny bit of vinegar, not like I'm doing a salad. When I'm doing a salad, I'm making a homemade vinaigrette. Uh, and normally it's a three to one ratio. So uh, one part vinegar or acid, whether your acid is vinegar or lemon juice or lime juice, to three parts oil is kind of the general rule of thumb. You don't always have to stick to it. But for this, I'm just going to do just a touch of um, balsamic vinegar. It's about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to do quite a bit of oil. So the vinegar is just going to be kind of more of a background thing. When you go to get an Italian sub and it's got an Italian, you know, vinaigrette salad dressing instead of mayo, uh, you don't want to be tasting a strong vinegar. You really want to just have a little bit of a background flavor. Then I've got some dried herbs. I'm just using a, a Italian dry seasoning blend that we happen to have on hand here in my pantry. If you don't have that, just a dried oregano, maybe a little dried basil dried parsley, you can throw that in there. If you had fresh, that would be great too. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of sugar if I'm doing it for a salad or some Dijon mustard, but this is going to be real simple. I promised you simple and it's going to be simple. And I can tell it's just a t still a touch dark, so I'm going to just do a little more oil. Any extras, you could add a little more vinegar and toss this with the salad. All right. And I love to shake up my homemade dressings in a canning jar like this. And then any of the extras, you, like I say, you can keep in the fridge for a week or more. Okay, so I'm going to take a little of that dressing and just drizzle it, or sometimes I'll brush it into our bread and just kind of swirl it around. No, not a whole ton. Again, this is really about the sandwich. The flavors in the sandwich, the dressing is just kind of an added thing. Then I'm going to take some fresh basil leaves. I'm not going to use lettuce in this because that would tend to sog it down. So I'm just going to take some fresh basil. I went to the deli and got some really nice different Italian type lunch meats, which um, they've got some fun ones. They have like a sun dried tomato turkey and different types of. You know, Italian ham, prosciutto, I've got some uh, Genoa salami here. And we're just going to start stuffing our bread. This is provolone cheese with a few slices, two to three slices, and then some of our meats. So I've got some great salami here. And we're just going to keep layering until this guy is filled up. This is going to make a big sandwich. And what you do is you serve it in wedges. And you'll see how that comes together. I'm just going to just pile this up. Now this is a sandwich you can bake the day ahead and wrap it really tightly in plastic wrap um, and then just slice it right before you need it. So we'll do some, this is some of that wonderful, um, it's a garlic and herb turkey breast. And I want to have the meats very thinly shaved. And this is just some ham. So we've got a bunch of different flavors going on here. And then one of the other fun things to add, you could do artichoke hearts. You could do, um, I love the idea of some roasted red pepper from a jar. It's going to give some great flavor. And you can just put them in their hole because when we cut the sandwich, they'll get cut up. These are just a really nice, something different in that sandwich. And then some more cheese. And we just keep layering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep layering this up, and then um, I'll show you how it slices. It's really, really cool when it all gets done. A few more meats. And this is my layered Italian sandwich. We'll put the recipe on the website.